these little 404 box anymore here. Shout out to the LDBC. Yes, sir. Shout out to the LDBC. Still shouting out the LDBC. Um, just want to get into a little little talk this morning about um more of the same of what I talked about first thing yesterday morning. This 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 sneak dissing, this wide open dissing, just dissing of the LDBC, hatred toward the LDBC, using the LDBC as a as a vessel to for which to catapult your channel, your views, um, so forth and so on. You know, um, saw a video yesterday when I was at work. Uh, guy made a video. He actually was, um, Fred was actually his target. Fred of Barbershop Conversations. He was actually um, all about trying to put Fred now because Fred made a video talking about how um, you know it was like 4,500 people or something like that at the um, World Boxing Super Series fight. No, I think it was 450. I believe. Sorry about that. It was like around 450 is what uh, it looked like was at the fight. And um, so, so the guy was you know basically saying that don't have anything to do with Eddie Hearn and the L, y'all LDBC guys are, you know, uninformed and putting out fake news, etc., etc. Hey, you know, um, from my understanding, you know what I'm saying. I I don't know. I, I don't know if Fred is actually. I, I think I've seen Fred say on video that he's not in the LDBC, but he's affiliated with the LDBC. Affiliated, if I may not have gotten it out right, I had a little hiccup there. But um, anyway, at the end of the day, Fred messes with the LDBC. <clears throat> a lot of us mess with Fred. You know what I'm saying? I, I I can you know say I go I go to his channel often and watch his videos and, and, and offer support. You know what I'm saying? I've also been critical of Fred um, at times. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Fred Fred's the type of brother that can can take some criticism. You know what I'm saying? Which I mean, we all should be able to take some criticism. You know, but that that's not the point. My point is, you know what I'm saying? He he used Fred's video to target the LDBC, and you know, basically, um, and this guy he, he's he's a big fan of Eddie, Eddie Hearn. He said that. Nothing wrong with that. He, he, you support who you want to support. He supports Eddie Hearn. And, but by doing so, it doesn't mean that he has to take a crap on anyone who doesn't agree with Eddie Hearn or anyone who puts out a video, you know what I'm saying, talking down on Eddie Hearn, you know, but that, that's what he chose to do. So, you know, like I said in the video, he was saying Eddie Hearn didn't have anything to do with that, uh, World Boxing Super Series card that was a failure. And you know what I'm saying? And, and it was kind of still up in the air whether or not the card actually had that that few, few of um the attendance was actually that low on that card. You know, I mean, looking at the picture that, that Fred posted on his video. Sorry about the horn. I was going under a tunnel. But um, that, that card that Fred... I mean, the picture that Fred actually posted, it looks like very few people at, the, at that card. Now, I don't know what at what stage of the card that was, if that was before when everybody was first filing in, or if that was at, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> prime time, you know, main event. I, I have no idea. But what I will say is, you know what I'm saying, is, is that <laughs> the video is out there. I mean, I think, you know, it was, it was a solid video by Fred. But at the same time, like I said, I, I, I would think that Fred would have done his due diligence before he dropped the video. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to take it at face value and say that hey, there's probably some truth to it. You know? But my thing about the whole defending Eddie Hearn when it comes to this card, 
by saying Eddie Hearn, basically try to disassociate Eddie Hearn with, you know what I'm saying? My, my thing is this. I'm just going, I'm not going to skate around and skirt around it. I'm going to come on out and say it. I'm, I'm trying to be very polite with the video, but uh, it, it, it makes it harder to do it because I'm not being authentic. So let me let me just go ahead and say what I need to say. Okay? You you can't you can't come out defending Eddie Hearn when the World Boxing Super Series card that's put on by the zone, whether whether Match Room is involved in the card or not, this, you know what I'm saying, has anything to do with it. And, and this card, by the way, is the own card that uh Regis Pro Gray was on. But you know what I'm saying, um, you can't come out and defend Eddie Hearns. Oh, Eddie don't have anything to do with that. You know, you guys, you guys are stupid. You guys are fools not doing your homework. You know, you're misinformed, putting out fake news. You know, you don't say that, but then Eddie comes out at every turn, want to take full credit for bringing Canelo to the zone. You know what I'm saying? And basically said that he oversees, you know, he basically like he has some power position with the zone as far as anything to do with boxing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so in, in that regard, to me, it, it, it's one of the things where, it, it, you got someone in a position where they want to take they want to take credit for any success, you know what I'm saying? No matter how insignificant their role was in that success, or how how small or minuscule their role was in, in bringing about that success, and even if the success itself hasn't really brought any fruit yet, because the Canelo situation is what it is. He signed to the zone. As of right now, the only card Canelo has lined up is against Rocky Fielding. Um, that that doesn't make that. I don't think there's anybody clamoring to, to go sign up for the zone for that fight. I I, I haven't I've have to yet to date seen a the zone card that made it worth my trouble to go sign up, even on a even on an interim basis, even on a you know what I'm saying, even on a um, trial basis, you know, on a free trial. So, and I'm still waiting. Sign, them signing Canelo to fight Rocky Field didn't didn't change that for me. I mean, and truth be told, me personally, um, the last Canelo fight that I bought was um, his fight against Floyd. I mean, that, that's just me being honest. You know what I'm saying? And and I know that, uh, you know, some people, you know, go, might, may feel some type of way about that and want to question whether or not how big a fan I may be or whatever the case may be. I, I just ain't seen the value out there. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, when it comes to Triple G and Canelo, I... I that, that fight, for me, happened about six to eight months later, maybe maybe a year later than I wanted to see it. I was clamoring for that fight when it first started, when Canelo first moved up and uh, beat um, Miguel Cotto. And I felt like it took a little too long for him to get his nuts up to go ahead and, um, to go ahead and fight Triple G. But that said, I did watch the fights. You know what I'm saying? I personally just didn't um, buy the pay-per-view. And uh, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a matter of not being able to afford it. I just didn't want to buy them. You know what I'm saying? Because I, you know, I mean, I didn't get the fight when I wanted to fight. And, um, you know, I, I actually, the fight was better than I thought it was going to be. I'll put it like that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, for, for the build-up of it, it wasn't as good as I, I wanted it to be. You know, I, I felt like the guy was too tender. So I was glad I didn't buy. I was glad I didn't buy the fight. And, and I felt the same way the second time. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I didn't spend, you know, $89, $90 for it. You know? But I don't really fool Canelo like that either, or Triple G. So that has a little bit to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So I said all that to say this. Once again, I, I still have not seen any reason for me to go out and spend my money um, on the zone app. I, I just haven't. So um, when that when that happens, it's possible I could, but right now, they, they don't look anywhere close to putting the kind of card together that makes me want to spend my money. But that's just my money. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to support the zone. Alright? Okay, on the other hand, you got this card that seemed to be lackluster, not necessarily the card, but the the, the, um, the actual event seemed to have a, a, a lackluster drawing, a lackluster um, ticket sales, and he, 
here it is. Not Eddie Hearn himself coming out, but Eddie Hearn's, one of Eddie Hearn's fans, same guy, dissing Fred, dissing the LDBC, wants to come out and say, oh no, Eddie don't have anything to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, let Eddie say that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you coming out, defending Eddie, and then you make the statement that, well, some, you know, some people think I'm bought up. I, you know, want to make comments like Eddie, Eddie pays me behind the scenes and this, that, and the other. And that, that's not true. And I mean, man, like, I mean, I, I don't hear anybody saying that. You know what I'm saying? You support Eddie, you support him. If you, you bring that up, make, make people wonder if there's some validity to it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I doubt it. I mean, I don't, I don't even, to be honest, I don't even know what Eddie, Eddie would get out of, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, 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 I watch this guy's videos. I mean, yeah, he does a hell, a hell of a lot better than me. But, I mean, I, I don't, I've only been making boxing videos less than six months. But on YouTube a lot longer than that. You know what I'm saying? I got some other channel doing some other things. But, um, it's, and, and this channel's been, I think I've had this channel since 2011, maybe 2010. Um, had all kind of other videos on it. I took most of them down. But, but, but you know what I'm saying? Again... You know, I, I, I see the guy's views. I don't see where Eddie would get anything out of paying this guy to um to do anything. So yeah, he he, he, he may be telling the truth there that you know he doesn't see a penny from Eddie Hearn. He's just been supportive of the guy he support. And there, there's nothing wrong with that. But like I said, coming out attacking somebody else in defense of someone, um, and then the reality is that you don't even know. It, you know what his association with the event was. You know what I'm saying? You, you just came to his defense because you didn't like the fact that somebody was talking about Eddie. Well, man, the way Eddie came on the scene, there's gonna be a lot more people talking about him for a lot longer than uh, Fred's, you know, video. No matter, I don't know how long the video was. I don't remember if it was nine minutes, three minutes, twenty minutes, or whatever. But regardless, there's gonna be a lot more people come out saying a lot more about Eddie. Because Eddie came on the scene all wrong. And even before he came on the scene, he was running off at the mouth, saying stuff he shouldn't have had no business saying. He didn't have no business saying. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't just come in talking sideways, talking in subversive and stuff, putting everybody down, and then think that, uh, you know what I'm saying, think that everybody's going to just be like, oh, yeah, we're glad Eddie's here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I just can't I, I just can't subscribe to it. But you know what I'm saying? The whole whole thing, the whole point of this video, and I know I, I don't went on about, you know what I'm saying, the whole Eddie Hearn thing, but my my thing is this. My my position with the whole whole talking down on the LDBC thing, you know, this this guy basically came out and said that 78 Sports TV, he'll he'll never hear a, a bad word come out, you know, basically. Never hear him say anything bad about 78. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but my, what I say to that is, hey, if, if, if you if you think it, it's cool to put down the LDBC as a whole or, or put down certain people, you know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't just about Fred. He, he, he was talking about the LDBC in general. But then later on, tried to slide in there and say, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I, I messed with 78, you know, basically what he's saying. And he kind of talked about blood and, you know what I'm saying, and said, you know, he, he mentioned a few guys that he, he knows and all that he, he really, you know what I'm saying, he, he follows and he has respect for. But then it's like, basically, basically like, you know, all these other guys, I don't know who they are, I don't know who the fuck they are, whatever, whatever. I'm like, man, no, who, who cares? Half of us on the internet, majority of us on the internet don't know the other people on the internet. And that's cool. But my thing is this, it, 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 it's no point in you trying to put down the LDBC and then big up 78 in the same video. You know what I'm saying? The way I look at that is, you, you, you try, you, you, you basically got this, uh, I, I, I better pick my battles wisely mentality. But the thing is, if you're picking a battle with the LDBC and, 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 at all, you're making a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Because that dog don't hunt. That dog just ain't gonna hunt, buddy. I mean, that's just all it is to it. I mean, and, and you know what I'm saying? 
hey, hey, it's like this. I know personally, my channel ain't 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 nothing compared to your channel. But you know what? I I, I ain't attacking no blind soldiers. That said, just give people some respect or either keep their name out your mouth. I mean, it's that simple. I, I ain't talking about you got to call. If you're talking about somebody individually or if you're talking about a group that that people belong to. I mean, if you ain't got no no respect for them, you know what I'm saying? If you don't if you don't want to, if you ain't got nothing good to say about them, why talk about them? You know what I'm saying? You don't, There's no point in, in, in repeatedly making videos to, to diss somebody for the sake of personal gain that, that's not what this internet stuff is supposed to be about you know what I'm saying we, we, we're just in an, on the internet we're fans on the internet some of, some of us are media or you know what I'm saying but at the end of the day this is still just the internet and no need to try to act you know what I'm saying trying to act like we're going to get busy or something like that you know what I'm saying this is just the internet you know Shout out to the LDBC. If you're feeling the content, drop a comment in the comment section. Hit that like button. Please subscribe. Hit that bell icon. I'm out of here. Peace.